Hi friends, welcome back to Book Talk. We are in April and April is National Poetry Month. So today I have four books for you all, uh, different kinds of poems about different types of topics. The first one is called Texas Mother Goose. It's written by David Davis and it's illustrated by Sue Marshall Ward. Now, this is a fun Texas take on Mother Goose rhymes. It's everything from like Twinkle Twinkle Texas Star, Yankee Doodle Moved Out West, Hush Little Youngin Don't You Cry, Peckis Peter Taco Eater. There's just all kinds of fun takes on the uh, Mother Goose nursery rhymes that we all know all with a Texas twist, and they incorporate all of Texas and Mexican culture and everything that makes Texas uh, unique, right? It's all in here. It's really fun. The rhymes um, take you to all points of Texas. They mentioned from small to big, all kinds of Texas towns in here, and all kinds of Texas uh, customs. The poems also, the illustrations, really give you a sense of the landscape in Texas, like from San Antonio to like the Panhandle oil country up there and just the beach. You've got all of Texas landscape in here. And the illustrations have this like really pretty like watercolor effect to them. So um, they're all very colorful and very, of course, filled with Texas motif. So if you just love Mother Goose or love Texas, then check out Texas Mother Goose for a fun uh, poem Texas twist. And then next we have Mirror, Mirror, a book of reverse poems by Marilyn Singer illustrated by Jose Mas. And this one is all based on fairy tales and it kind of turns poems on its head. Or like it says, a mirror or in reverse. So you read poetry or you read the poems in both directions. You read it going one way And then the next one starts off in reverse. So this one where it says, who says it's true? Down is the only view. Well, that's how this side is going to end. So it gives you a different interpretation. It gives you a different way of seeing something, which makes it kind of fun. And the poems uh, range all the way from like Snow White and Rapunzel, Cinderella, also Hansel and Gretel, Jack and the Beanstalk, and uh, even the Frog Prince. Those are just a few of the reverse poems in this book. So if you like fairy tales, this is a fun one to read. Mirror, mirror. And then the next one is called Heroes and Sheroes. Poems of Amazing and Everyday Heroes by Patrick Lewis, illustrated by Jim Cook. Now, this one, it really is about everyday heroes, or you have everyday heroes, and then you also have like the well-known heroes. Some of the everyday heroes that there are poems about in here are teachers and firefighters and immigrants, and even like Rosie the Riveter, Rosie the Riveter, Uh, represented all kinds of women during World War II and there's a poem about them in here and then there's the famous people that we all know like Gandhi and MLK and uh, Roberto Clemente, Joan of Arc, Rosa Parks, Cesar Chavez. So you will get a little bit of uh, poetry of people who are just everyday heroes like you and me doing things for people, and then also like the famous, um, famous heroes. The illustrations are also in here, are beautiful and colorful, and really give you a sense of the people that they are um, talking about.
talking about. There's one on. I just, this is one of my favorites. The Rosie the Ripperger one. So if you want to learn all about famous people or just ordinary people, you want to honor them with some poetry, then check out Heroes and Sheroes. Now, my favorite book out of this series is called Woke, A Young Poet's Call to Justice. And this is, it has a foreword by Jason Reynolds, who is a um, author for young adults. He does a lot of um, novels and verse. So this um, book of poems is written by um, three different authors. And it's cut off on that page, but it's Mahogany L. Brown, Elizabeth Acevedo, and Olivia Gatwood. And the illustrations are done by Theodore Taylor III. Now this is a great inspirational book of poetry with a lot of different themes. And at the very beginning, it tells you what the definition of woke is, like what does that mean? And then every poem has a different theme. And it actually took me a while to figure it out as I was reading it. I was like looking for all the themes and figuring it out myself. And then I realized at the very bottom of every page, it actually tells you what the theme is. Um, so some of the themes include race and ableism and gender, immigrants, identity, individuality, justice, and of course, just racism in general. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. The poems will inspire you and they're kind of calls to action and um, it's just It'll make you think and it'll evoke feelings in you. And the same goes for the illustrations. Like this one is called Say the Names. And it's about all the leaders, all the people who have come before you. So as you can tell, the illustrations are just very colorful and they just like they pop out. It's not a bunch of busy stuff. It's just very profound. Um, in this one, this one is all about um, gender identity and how there's, you know, different colors of a rainbow. And as you, I mean, just look at that beautiful illustration. It just, it's very powerful. It um, just, it gives you a sense of what the poem is going to be about. I just, I cannot say enough good things about this um, book of poems. I highly recommend it to everybody. So that is Woke, A Young Poet's Call to Justice. We have Heroes and Sheroes, Mirror, Mirror, Reverse Poetry, and Texas Mother Goose, A Texas Twist on Mother Goose Rhymes. Well, thank y'all for watching today and until next time, bye.